Why do businesses spend tens to hundreds of millions of dollars a year on tools to help them grow their businesses online? Why is it so important? Why do they even spend that much money when they don't need to? Hi, my name is Benson Sung and today I'm going to share with you the vital essential tools that you need to be able to grow any business online. What are the exact tools and you'd be surprised by how much they actually cost. tool that you want to use is Hotjar. Hotjar is a tool that allows you to be able to see the heat map, the conversions on your website, you're able to get feedback, you're really able to see all the different metrics that are important for your website when people are visiting your site. You're able to see the parts that you're able to optimize and convert and be able to really grow the traffic on your website, be able to generate more leads and be able to grow your revenue and your sales and acquire more customers. So go on Hotjar, you can see there's feedback forms, there's heat maps. What's really great about Hotjar is it allows you to record visitor sessions. You're able to go on their page, people can see the actual sessions and how people are really interacting with your website. Because once you see that, you're able to see their journey, you're able to see what's actually happening. And that's very valuable data that allows you to optimize your site for a lot of different things. Google Analytics is the next tool that you should be using for your business online. Google Analytics allows you to see all the different metrics, the tracking, it allows you to use, uh, see the traffic on your site, see the demographics, see the location, you see the, where they're coming from. Are they coming from Facebook? Are they coming from YouTube? Are they coming from Twitter or LinkedIn? So Google, what's great about it is that it's also a free tool and you can use it and it's very detailed and comprehensive for anything that you wanna do online. So Google Analytics is one of the tools that you should must definitely, most definitely be using on your website. The next tool that you wanna use is to grow your social media traffic on autopilot. And that tool is called Hootsuite. Now Hootsuite is one of the tools that's also here based in Vancouver where I'm at. But at the same time, I'm not biased towards it because it's really great for being able to schedule your social media posts. You're able to set automatic postings. You're able to interact and do everything on your social media all in one place. That saves so much time, so much energy and just be able to conserve the resources. So Hootsuite is definitely one of the tools that you can use to be able to schedule your social media, to be able to grow your social media following, scheduling your post, and being able to respond to comments, respond to likes, respond to different things that are happening all across the social media landscape. The next thing that you should use for content marketing and being able to know what's actually gonna work when you put all your resources into writing content or having your team do this is using Buzzsumo. Now Buzzsumo is a tool that you can use to search the top keywords, the top topics, the top content that's performing really well right now based on Google, based on social media. So then once you know these different things, let's say a piece of content is performing really good on Google, high rankings is doing a lot of virality because it's being shared so much, you're able to see that content and you're able to build upon it. You can find the top topics, the top keywords, and what type of content to create for your business. So content marketing, if you're doing that right now, you should absolutely be using Buzzsumo. The next tool that's really useful for you, being able to convert your traffic into leads, quality leads, and being able to convert that quality leads into actual sales and customers, is using a tool like Webinar Jam or EverWebinar. Now Webinar Jam allows you to host live webinars and EverWebinar allows you to do automated webinars. Now what are webinars? What's great about internet and technology now is that instead of you having to organize an event, invest hundreds, like tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to put together an event, spend marketing it to get people to the event, is you can do this from the comfort of your office or your home and be able to do a presentation that someone can also watch from the comfort of their home or their office. And then you're able to show this presentation usually two to three hours or maybe one hour. And I've seen people do five to six hours, but you do a presentation, you, do, you add a lot of value, you do a lot of great things on all these uh, platforms, the presentation, you add value, you solve their problems, you uh, help them achieve a result, and then you're able to offer them a solution or some kind of product or service that you're selling, and then get really good conversions if you know a really solid webinar formula. But let's not get into that, that'll be in another video. But Webinar Jam and EverWebinar are the two best tools to be able to create that webinar that is able to convert your traffic into leads and also your leads into sales and revenue. A tool that's great for converting your traffic into leads is using a tool called ClickFunnels. Now what's great about ClickFunnels is it's made it so much easier to be able to build landing pages or squeeze pages as they call them when you're able to drive a traffic to a page and get them to opt in with their name and email or through chatbots 
and then give them their contact information. Similar to how you see on Digital Marketing University and on some of the pages that you see on my website too, where I'm saying, hey, if you want this ultimate resource kit, if you want to have the 12 step roadmap or whatever asset that I'm giving you, I'm offering for you to in exchange for your name and email, it allows you to do everything on there on ClickFunnels. What's also great about it is you're able to build your website and your pages through ClickFunnels. Now, I don't recommend building your website through ClickFunnels, but using a tool like WordPress. But if you wanna do simple pages to convert traffic into leads and running your ad campaigns, using ClickFunnels is the tool for you. And what's also great is that you can also build your webinar pages, you can build your sales pages, you can build every part of the marketing funnel, sales funnel process using ClickFunnels. And it's also a very inexpensive tool and it's one of the best ones out there. Now the next thing is part of growing your business on autopilot is using marketing automation software. The best tool out there to use is called Active Campaign. That's the one that I use in my own companies and also the tool that I recommend all my private clients and partners. So using Active Campaign allows you to automate the communication that you're using with your target audience. You might be familiar with this when you go onto a, a site, you put in your name and email, or you message somebody, and then you get messages on a frequent basis. And it sounds very personalized. What's actually happening is that there's a system there, people are sending a sequence to you. What a sequence is, is it's sending you a series of emails focused on, let's say, welcoming you to their business, uh, talking about a special sale that they're having, or introducing you to a product or service, or maybe sending you testimonials to, for you to learn more about the results that a business can offer. So that's one of the examples that you should use for marketing automation is active campaign. You're able to build emails, you're able to build your communication and communicate with them one-on-one. -on -one. The next tool that I recommend to be able to give the best customer service is a tool called Intercom. Uh, Intercom is one of the most uh, popular tools to be able to use and communicate with your customers with the customer service providing them with FAQ or a help desk or a forum, be able to communicate with you and find the most frequently asked questions or problems that they're having. And also at the same time, it allows you to embed it on your website. So anytime someone goes on your website, they have a question or they have something that they wanna buy or something that they're looking for and they can't find it, they can message you directly on your website. It can also, you're able to send them through a process, through a funnel. So for example, if someone sends you a message on this, your team is able to receive it and send them back a message on on let's say a shipping or a refund request. They can add, facilitate the process and make it much easier, not just for you, for your team, but also for your customers as well, which is the best thing to do for giving great customer service. Now the next two tools is what you wanna to use to be able to get higher conversions on your website, higher conversions on everything that you're doing in your online marketing. The first tool that you wanna use is something called Visual Website Optimizer or VWO. Visual Website Optimizer is the first tool. The second one is called Optimizely. Now Optimizely and Visual Website Optimizer, both tools are great and I recommend both because I personally use both as well. But you're able to set up these different kinds of tests. The reason why you want to set up tests is you want to be able to get higher conversions. So for example, let's say you're driving traffic to a page. Page A is getting 100 people to visit the page. Page B is also getting 100 people. By using VWO or Optimizely, you're able to see between page A and page B, if you test two different pages, one page might get you 10 leads, the other page will get you 20 leads. You, then you would focus on seeing if page B is getting you 20 leads, then you know that you wanna use page B. So it allows you to do these kinds of tests. It allows you to test different pages, test different offers, test different shopping carts of your e-commerce, test a lot of different things so that you can get more money and generate a better ROI in your business. The final tool that you should be using is called Wistia. Now, if you're doing a lot of videos like I am for Digital Marketing University or doing video marketing, you should be using Wistia. Wistia allows you to track uh, your video views. It allows you to see the behaviors and how people are interacting with your videos on your website or everything that you're doing. Now, you might be wondering, you know, what's the difference? Why can't I just embed the videos on YouTube versus using Wistia? What's great about Wistia is you're able to actually uh, interact between, let's say someone watches your videos by 25% or 50% or 100%, that watches your video the full way or doesn't watch your video at all, you can actually connect to Active Campaign and send different emails based on how they interacted with your video. So let's say you have a video like this that you're watching right now. If someone watched only like a few 10% or a few seconds of it, and I wanted to promote you like a list of my products, then I probably would send you something like, hey, I saw that you were watching this video, you only watched a few seconds of it, I just want to remind you that this is one of the most important videos you can watch for digital marketing, and I will send you an email based on how long you've watched this video. If you watch it for 10 seconds, I'll send you a reminder email, let's say, 
If let's say you watch it for 100%, I might send and say, hey, thanks for watching this video. Now I'm gonna, you can view the next video in the sequence where it teaches you more about, let's say, how to generate more leads or how to convert more of your leads into customers. So that's one of the core things is that it leads you to the next step and allows you to interact with them based on the, how much of the video that they've consumed for themselves. Now, you know the vital essential tools that you only need to spend hundreds of dollars on and not thousands or tens of thousands. And even with these tools that you spend hundreds of dollars on, they can generate an ROI in your business and give you valuable feedback so you can really be successful online. Now, what's great about this too is that these tools are the ones that you can get access to immediately. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include some links in the bottom and also in this expanded post that you can see right here on the Digital Marketing University website. It gives you details on different things, how to use it, how to implement it in more detail. Now, three core things I want you to do is I want you to comment below and let me know what is your favorite tool? What is the favorite tool they're using in your online marketing business, whether you're e-commerce, whatever business you're running, let me know your favorite tool so I can uh, find out and maybe I haven't used it myself as well and I'll take your recommendation too. And the other thing is I want you to like this video, let me know that you actually found value in this video. And then finally, hit that subscribe button right there. This is my face in the circle, hit that subscribe and let me know that you're part of the community that you're joining. Now, finally, I wanna say that I'm obviously not doing these videos so that uh, I can make any money from them. I'm gonna do this so I can give back to you, give back to the community so you can get value from these things. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.